This episode is sponsored by Gamergy, the gaming energy drink made by gamers for gamers. Check it out in four great flavors, Purple Nurple, Red Alert, Binary Blue, and Epic Green. Hey, what is going on, my brotherhood? Welcome to another episode of Pokemon My Ass. If you guys are excited, I hope you are. Make sure you go down there and sit lightning that like button. And if you're new, use the force to subscribe. Don't forget to morph that little bell so you always know when you're going to get some awesome and brand new mock creations uh, content coming your way. Last time we were in Rock Tunnel, exploring the tunnel and making our way to Vermilion City. We are going to continue that quest today. I hope you guys are excited. Real quick, let's go ahead and get to the question of the day. What is your favorite game announcement from E3? So far, mine has got to be the new Elder Scrolls game that got announced. I am so excited. Uh, I've been waiting for a new Elder Scrolls for a game for a long time. I've been so upset that, you know, it's been this long and they just keep re-releasing Skyrim over and over again. It's about time we get to go back to Tamriel, so I'm really excited. Uh, other games, probably, uh, Anthem looks interesting, but it kind of looks like just a Destiny remake, you know? So I don't, I don't know quite yet what I feel like about that. Um, let's see, what else? Probably the new Assassin's Creed game. Going to Greece... Why have we not done that yet? <laughs> but uh, real quick, let's do a, let's go ahead and do a team recap. It's been a while since we've been on the channel. Well, last week was really busy with uh, uh, putting up videos from uh, Wizard World, which I still have some more videos to go up this week. We're going to finish that out. But let's do our team recap here. We've got Kabuki, the grass and dark, serious nature Nuzleaf, with the uh, chlorophyll ability, bullet seed, hardened, fake out, and nature power. We've got Bird Jesus, the normal flying rash natured Pidgeotto. I don't know why I'm telling you guys the their types. You should know. But he's got the Keen Eye ability with Whirlwind, Sand Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack. We've got Little Girl the Mighty Anna with a modest nature, horrible nature, but we will live with the Intimidate ability. That does come in handy, actually. With Tackle House, Sand Attack, and Bite. I hope we're going to get, like, Dark Pulse or something soon. We've got Flill the Quilava with a hasty nature, the Blaze ability, Tackle, Leer, Smokescreen, and Ember. So not a lot of good uh, attacks on Flill, unfortunately. But you know, we'll we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We've been we've been we've been making it work. We've got Shima the Poliwag with a quiet nature. She's so quiet. She's a little quiet. She's a quiet Poliwag. With the Water Absorb ability, Bubble Hypnosis, Water Gun, and Double Slap. And I believe, last but not least, we've got Jason the Flappy with a Hardy Nature, Static Ability, Flash, Thunder Wave, Thunder Shock, and Mega Punch. So let's get right into it. We're going to finish Rock Tunnel, try to get some stuff done in Vermilion City. Um, did I? Oh, yep, this is a new area. This tunnel goes a long way, kid. Really? I did not know that. Ugh. So, it's been literally just over a week since uh, Wizard World ended, and I had a fantastic time. I gotta tell you guys some of the stuff that's happened, so uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that, and, uh, you know, make sure you answer the question of the day. I really want to know what games you guys are excited for. I know Fallout 76 looks pretty dope. I'm, I'm excited for that. I have never really played Fallout much. So, I think this is going to be the first game where I actually, like, really delve into the lore of Fallout. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me, guys. Ugh. But, um... Let's go ahead and talk about Wizard World a little bit. Let's go ahead and talk about it. I, I want to I tell you guys the awesome stuff that happened, so maybe if you guys have never been, you'll go next year, hopefully. Um... So, uh, let's just talk about the, the, like, the celebrities I got to meet first. We'll talk about, uh, Winston Duke. If you guys have never met Winston Duke, if you guys don't know who Winston Duke is, first of all, let me tell you who he is, so you know. Winston Duke is the actor who plays Umbaku in uh, Black Panther. He was better known as the White Ape from uh, Marvel Comics, but they did change that name, which I am very happy with. Um, just the absolute nicest guy. Nothing bad to say about this guy. He was so funny, uh, charismatic, really great guy. Had nothing but smiles, and we sat. We got to sit and talk to him for for a few minutes, so that was really nice. Uh, asked him a few questions about you know upcoming movies and stuff like that. Um, asked him what it was like to be on Black Panther, such a revolutionary movie in the first place. 
Um, <laughs> my wife, of course, just had to give him a hard time because he, uh, I think he almost misspelled something. So she's like, make sure you spell my name right. It's this. I'm like, and he goes, oh, Christina, right? With C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A. And he, <laughs> and <laughs> so he was very playful. He was very fun. Um, oh, excuse me, guys. Oh. Um, but, just an all-around nice guy. Like, nothing, I cannot think of anything bad to say about this guy. He was just so nice. Um, my buddy Kyle and I, uh, I hope I will remember to do this, because I know I forgot for a video. I don't even remember what video it was, but I, th I knew it was, I think I was going to throw up a picture of my Snorlax cosplay. I think that's what it was. Um, I'll try to remember to, I'll do it randomly, like, right now. Hopefully I do it. <laughs> um, but, uh... My buddy Kyle and I... I'll just try to throw in some random pictures of people that, you know, we took pictures with. My buddy Kyle and I, though, also got to meet, uh... I don't know their real names. So I'm just gonna tell you what their names are on the show. They're two characters from Supernatural. Bobby Singer and, uh... I think her name's Bobby... <sighs> No, her name's not Bobby, is it? The character that plays the Reaper in Supernatural, and later she becomes Death in the newest season. And I'm sorry if I just spoiled that for you, but it has been out for a while, and it's even out on Netflix, so... Sorry. Um, but, uh... We got to meet them. We didn't, get to, we didn't really get a chance to sit and talk to them because we were doing a picture, and there was a line. But... That lady is just so freaking nice. She, she literally, like, before we even got to say hi to her, she's like, Hi guys, how you doing? You know, and she just came up to us and gave us both a hug and everything. And Bobby, oh my gosh, that, he is a riot. Uh, he, was wearing, he was wearing a shirt and hat. It is literally uh, him in his pop figure. And uh, literally it said, uh, Looking for them idiots. <laughs> I think that's what it had something to do with idiots. And if you guys don't know uh, Bobby from Supernatural, his catchphrases are balls, and uh, he 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 calls Sam and Dean a lot um, idiots. So, um, but it was it was a great time. They were really nice. I really wish I could have had a chance to talk more with them because I really like Bobby and. Of course, you know, you know, I say I really like the girl, but I don't remember her name, so everyone's like, how could you like her if you don't know her name? Well, you know, I'm not perfect. I would have loved to have caught a Glygor in this cave. I love Glygor. Oh, uh, Glyscore, his, his, uh, his, uh, sprite is just amazing. I love it so much. Um, but, anyway, uh... So, the only other, the only other, like, main tier celebrity I met, I just realized that my mouse is on the screen and I hate myself for that. Um, the only other main tier celebrity I met besides a couple of voice actors, which I'll talk to you about here after this, is we, my dad actually came out for Wizard World Day 3, and we, me and him got to take a picture and get an autograph from Nichelle Nichols. I'll try to throw up the picture of me and my dad right now. 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 <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm just trying to be funny. Um, if you guys don't know who Nichelle Nichols is, she plays Lieutenant Uhura in the original Star Trek series. My dad is a huge Trekkie. Loves Star Trek. Um, I told him that Nichelle Nichols is going to be there. And he goes, oh, well, that'd be great, but I also just want to spend time with you, Caleb, so let's go. Uh, and we had a great time. We had a fantastic time. My, my dad's never been to Comic-Con before, so that was a great time. Uh, he, he, he went a little crazy, actually. It was kind of nice. It was kind of nice to see him kind of cut loose and have fun. So, Dad, if you're watching this, thank you so much for coming out. I had a lot of fun with you, and thanks for spending the day with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope we get to do something like that or something else just together soonish so but uh yeah so those were the like like TV movie actors that we met um I got to meet the voice actors for Bulma and uh, and when I say voice actors I'm talking about the American voice actors I met the American voice actors for Bulma and Master Roshi 
Now, the reason why I don't care to meet the original Japanese voice actors is because I don't like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and I haven't watched Dragon Ball Super yet, but I, I'm assuming they're a lot of the same voice actors. I don't care for their Japanese counterparts. I don't like... Like, literally, Goku's character is... I'm sure she's a nice woman, but, like, I, I've, I've heard her talk in the Season 3 uh, version of Dragon Ball Z, where uh, she he's fighting uh, Frieza, and she literally goes... Well, he goes in her voice, Frieza! And I, I just... I can't stand it. I, I can't stand it. And I have actually met the American voice actors for Goku and Vegeta at Planet Comic Con, so this was really cool. I got to add a couple more... Uh, American voice actors on my bucket list of Dragon Ball Z characters. But Bulma was really cool. We got a set of cat ears from, uh, not cat ears, uh, Playboy bunny ears from when she was uh, wearing that outfit in uh, Dragon Ball. And um, she signed those and we got an autograph. Um, and that's not going to affect it because it's a normal type. Dang it. Um... We got an autograph, too, from her, and uh, then we met Master Roshi. I was able to get a really cool uh, poster um, image from him and have him sign that. And then he goes, okay, so would you like me to write something dirty on this? And I'm like, you are Master Roshi from Dragon Ball Z. Of course I want you to write something dirty on it. Like, what was, like, like really? Come on. Uh, I'll try to take a picture of that and throw it up here, like, right now. Oh, watch, I'm going to forget to post all these pictures. <laughs> but, um, uh, let me see here. What was I going to say? Oh, he literally put, like, show me damn boobies! <laughs> uh, he is such a funny guy. I like him. Um, other than that, um, I got to go around the con, you know, and... And check out some cool stuff. Uh, we got some cool swag from the event. I like I like using that word swag. Uh, meowth. Hmm. You know what? Let's keep let's keep Jason out here. Uh, it was it was a really good time. Um, I got to meet all the cosplayers who were invited to the event. I got interviews with all of them. I got some interviews with people other than them. Uh, some really cool Gundam cosplayers. That was really cool. Uh, let's see here. I it, I recorded the whole entire uh, cosplay contest, and I had actually uploaded it to YouTube, but I got a copyright strike on that because in the background there's some music from actual like legit artists and everything, and you know I, I wish YouTube was smart enough to realize okay he's putting out. A video of something else and there just happens to be something in the background so let's not be total dipweeds and I just wish sometimes YouTube was smart enough to realize that um, it's obviously not about the music it's about the cosplay contest and you know if they use their use their brains and watch the video they would realize that and you know I can't like I can't go to the people running the event and go, turn off your music, please, so I can, uh, you know, get this on YouTube without... Oh my gosh, Kabuki, you are getting leveled up, boy! Uh, I can't just go up to the people running the event and go, hey, turn off your music, so when you're up on the Rocky Mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine boulders tumbling down on you? That'd be like... Wow! <laughs> Total terror! You don't seem to be scared. Want to try using rock slide? Sure. Uh, I don't know if nobody's able to learn rock slide. Okay, since I can't teach any of my people rock slide, I'm scared. Okay. Oh, I just realized I switched out my. Ah! Uh... Come on, start out with a machop. Start out with a machop. Start out with a machop. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get lucky. All right. Anyway, uh, I, I just wish that YouTube would, like, watch the video and realize that, you know, it's not really about the I I don't know. I don't know. I guess there's, like, a line, you know, like, if they allow that, what, what will they not... I guess. I, I understand. I'm just gonna... I'm literally gonna upload it to Facebook. Uh, in fact, I might try to do that tonight. 
This video is coming out very late Monday night. I do apologize about that. Work has been really hectic, which is why I don't even have all the videos from Wizard World posted yet. So, I have literally been just working pretty much every every single day since Wizard World. So, uh, but tomorrow I've got the day off. I'm going to come home from my shift tonight. Uh, sleep. Um, actually, I'm probably going to try to get a video ready to upload while I'm sleeping. And then go to sleep. Wake up around 5-ish or 6-ish. And get videos ready and record. So, um, but other than that, it's it's been just nothing but work and hello. You have a Pokedex? I want one too! It's literally been nothing but work and, oh, this creepy Pokemaniac. Nothing but work and sleep, pretty much. Oh wow! I didn't even. I just realized I didn't even. Oh, this is this is good at least. At least it's not a hiker. Oh. I'm actually like a little tired right now. If I'm being a hundred percent, if I'm going to be like a hundred percent honest and everything, I'm a little tired. But you know, you gotta you gotta get that grind going. I think I went to bed at like ten thirty ish, maybe eleven, and let's see, eleven twelve. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, I got like maybe six hours of sleep. Because I woke up at 5.15 and I, I know I fell asleep around 11. Oh, maybe I should switch out. Come on, bird Jesus, wake up! I believe in you! Come on, bird Jesus! He woke up, yes! That did not do anything. I'm gonna see if a Gus will. No, I don't think Gus is. Is Gus physical or special? Huh. I don't know. The slowpoke's just like setting up in my face and then putting me to sleep. Ah! Do you think he's not using like physical attacking moves? He's using water gun. If he had like headbutt, I'd be you know worried. Uh. But yeah, you know, I had I had a really great time. I think my wife had a good time too. Uh, my dad, my dad was even nice and got got us got like a couple gifts. You know, my dad got me this really awesome Star Wars uh, Imperial Cogwheel Pocket Watch, which I really adore. It sits on my desk when I'm not using it. So, and my wife got a. Uh, so I don't know if you've seen Black Panther, but they have those bracelets that they wear that does all the technological things. You know, like communication and stuff like that come on bird jesus wake up uh we believe in you bird jesus she got one of those you know obviously not the it doesn't have anything techie but um but my dad got himself like a lot of prints he got himself some star some star trek merchandise you know a couple pins some captain's pins and some stuff like that uh yeah, we had a good time. We had a really good time. Um, uh, another slowpoke. I am switching. Ah, uh, let's go to Jason. Ah, uh, I like naming a slowpoke that I know I'm going to evolve into slow bro. I just name it Bra, Bra. And is it just me, or should they introduce a new evolution for slowpoke where it turns into something feminine? Because slow bro and slow king, it doesn't. I don't really feel that you know slow. A fe I don't even feel like a, a female slowpoke should exist, unless it gets its own evolution. Just my opinion. You know, I yeah, you know, it's just an opinion. You know, let me know what you think in the comment section. I, I don't mind. You know, tell me what you think. I'm not. I'm not afraid. Please don't be too violent. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a doing a new kind of video tomorrow. I've I've thought about doing this in the past, and I kind of like gave up before I really gave myself a chance. Um, 
but I, I introduced the idea of doing a, a video series I'd like to call The Vault, where I talk about comics and comic book related media. And I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I am the know-it-all of comics. I'm not. There is a lot that I learn every single day from watching people like Comic Drake, from Variant Live Comics, and a lot of other places like uh, Top Ten Nerd. There's a lot of things that I learn about comics from just watching those. So I am not the... I do not know everything about comics. I like to think that I know some because I do spend a lot of money on comics every month and I do read them and I like to talk about them I really I really enjoy talking about comics so I'm thinking tomorrow and plus I found some really cool websites to find images of comics without the words and everything so we don't like get into any copyright when, when it comes to at least the story part and when I'm only using the images, I'm just talking about what's happening from my perspective, not from... So, it's 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 things that, you know, people do already, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm going to switch out to flow. Yeah, I'm going to switch out to flow. Um, but, I would, like to, I would like to explore that and try it out, you know. I think, you know, and literally I think the first video I would do is probably like my top 10 characters from all comics media pretty much because I think that'd be a good idea to start you know maybe a good thing to start out and then you know talk about uh, comics that I'm reading right now or you know characters but just coming up with ideas for videos you know things like that if you guys have any ideas please throw them down in the comment section below you know if you guys want to see this from from my perspective you know from from this channel, let me know because it's something I wouldn't mind doing. Ooh, we got some priority going on here. We can get rid of tackle. It's, quick attack's literally the same thing except priority. So, um, but like, like I said, guys, I do this all for fun. I don't, I don't make any. You know, I am, I am sponsored, but I don't make any money. You know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't do this for money. I don't do it for, you know. I, I do it just because I enjoy doing this. So, yeah, please let me know if you guys are interested in that because it is something I'm interested in, and I wouldn't mind doing it. I just don't want to. I don't want to do videos that you guys aren't enjoying. And I, I know my, I know my, I'm not. I know my reach isn't, you know, far out there right now. I, I know that. You don't have to tell me that. But, uh, because I, I know. I, I have two, buddy. I, I know how many people watch my videos, how many people are subscribed to my channel. I know. Uh, if we grow, we grow. If we don't, hey, I'm having fun. It's all that matters. At least for me, you know. It's all that matters for me. And it matters that you guys are having fun with me. I hope you are. Oh my gosh, I just realized that um, a new uh, Megazord event is going down this weekend, this Friday. So I will be recording all three days. I, I know I said this last time, and I said it. I was going to do it while I was at Wizard World, which I shouldn't have said. I should not have done that because I realized that I had no time. Like, when I, wasn't, when I was at Wizard World doing stuff, I didn't have time while I was there. And when I got back to the hotel and traveling between the hotel and Wizard World, I was just dog tired and I I should not have said I was going to do that. So I will be recording for the new Megazord event starting this weekend. I'm really hoping they introduce a new Megazord. And a lot of people keep saying, bring out the Dragon Zord. We want the Dragon Zord, Dragon Zord, Dragon Zord, Dragon Zord. I would actually think it'd be really cool if we got the White Tiger Zord. Or the Grave Zord from the new Go Go Power Rangers comic book series. Either one would be really cool. And if they introduce the Grave Zord, they have to introduce the, the Ranger Slayer. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you know what? I think that would be like a perfect. I think that would be a perfect first episode, actually, because I am really into uh, the Power Rangers comic books going on right now. Maybe that would be a perfect first episode. Because there is a lot going on in Power Rangers comic books right now. So, maybe I should just do that. 
I do have to go to Comixology because I think there are some issues that I'm missing between my latest volume and what I just got. Because, see, I only have volumes like 1 through 4 or 1 through 5. And I've read all of them. And now I have issue like 25 and 26 or something. Like something random like that. Here, I got the comics right here. Let me Let me look. Yeah, I literally just got a comic book order today, so they're sitting on my desk right here. <laughs> uh, I have 26 and 27. And I also have Go Go Power Rangers, which is uh, a separate series that ties in issues 9 and 10. I am current on Go Go Power Rangers, except for I need to read those two new issues. But, um... I think I might need to read some stuff on Comixology tonight for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So... And when I say tonight, I'm going to work, and I work the overnight shift at a convenience store, so it's not like it's not like I'm going to be doing much. You know, I'm going to get my chores done, and you know, I get like three customers in the span of three hours, so plenty of time to read. Yeah, I think I think I might do that. I'm I'm going to do that. That that'll be cool. That'll be cool. I'm going to do that. Power Rangers would be cool. I, I'm going to do that for a first ep for a first episode. I'll link some of my friends in the description. You know, they'll enjoy it, I'm sure, because I don't know. Like, I don't even think my buddy... Ah, stun sport! I don't even think my buddy uh, Kyle from Mighty Morphin Cosplay is current on this because he's been working so hard on getting those cosplays out that he hasn't had time to read, so he might, he might appreciate this, actually. So, um, yeah... Let me know if you guys are excited for that. I, I'm excited for it now. I want to work on this. I want to... We're going to switch because our freaking bird Jesus is paralyzed. Um, but... Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this now. I'm pretty... We, ha we have a direction. We have a direction. And I might, I might make a couple more videos like top 10 favorite characters in comics and things like that. Maybe top 10 DC, top 10 Marvel, top 10... Uh, uh, independent things like that you know so those are those are some easy things I can make which you know I just pull up some random images of the characters and show them off and tell you why I like them why you know what storylines I like them from the, the most in or maybe like what media I most like them from because you know there's more than just comics there's also comic related TV shows comic related uh, Animated movies, animated TV series. Uh, ooh, there's the there's the exit. We finally what? Oh my gosh, we're on 27 minutes. I've been rambling for 27 minutes. I had no idea it's been that long. Uh, so I think we're just gonna I, we're gonna no matter what we're gonna make it to these Vermilion City. I'm, this might be a little bit of a longer episode. I'm okay with that if you guys are okay with it. Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City. Oh, we're why are we in Lavender Town? I am so confused. I thought we were supposed to go to Vermilion City. Huh. Huh. I'm feeling a bit faint. I haven't hiked in some time. You know you know what I like about these old school Pokemon games? You just went through that whole entire cave with nothing but, you know, the items that you go in and the Pokemon you go in. And you could be mostly suffering from all this... All this attack, it's all these trainers that you had to face while you were in there. And they do not give you any freaking chance to just heal up and go and once you're out of that cave, it's more trainers. I love that. This game doesn't, you know, hold your hand and say, hey, you're going to need this help from us to get through this place because, you know, that's what that's what makes Nuzlocke's and older games a lot of fun because there's no hand holding. Oh my, oh it flinched, yes! Yes, flinch. Okay. Don't don't quick attack. Oh, you had to quick attack, didn't you? <sighs> Stupid Pidgeotto. Yep, we gotta level up. Yeah, we really need to level up little girl. She's I think she's the lowest. <laughs> um, let's see here. Pokemon. Let's go. Yeah, she is the lowest. Let's put our Shima out there so we can take on this hiker. Hello. Ha 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 ha
Geodude, this will be easy. Geodude, more like Geo don't. <sighs> I am such an such an idiot. Uh. Oh, ooh, this will be a good experience. Onyx. Ooh. Who else here is just PO that they haven't made Crystal Onyx yet? Can we talk about that for a second? Or the fact that they haven't made an Orange Islands game yet. It, You know what? I'm really excited for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. But if you really want to dazzle me, like take it to the next level, because I'm already super stoked. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm already going to be buying the Switch. I'm already going to be playing the games. So you've already got me sold. So literally, you, you almost don't have to do anything else. But if you want to take this to the next level, Game Freak and Nintendo... Put in the Orange Islands. Please. Put in the Orange Islands. I'm going to say it one more time. Game Freaking Nintendo, I doubt you're watching this random person's YouTube Let's Play of Pokemon My Ass version. But if you are, if anybody that's connected to Game Freak or Nintendo is watching this, put in the Orange Islands. I want to explore the Orange Islands. I mean, there is a ROM hack of it where you can play. You know, I, I don't remember what it's called, but I played it before. Maybe I'll try to find it. But if you want to dazzle me and make me go, make me just the happiest little girl in the world, put in the Orange Islands. Hey, kid. Hey, hey, kid. You want to see my Pokemon? Wow, this guy is a creep. Hey, 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 kid. You, you see my, you see my cubone there? Wanna, wanna, wanna see it go down? Watch, watch this. It's gonna cry for its mommy. Oh yeah, cry for me. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Level 24, Shima! Shima's growing powerful. A shuckle. Hmm. We'll keep our Shima in. Shima, get that water gun going. Holy crap, shuckle! Okay, um... Yeah, I will, I will totally use the same move over and over again since it's like... My most powerful and super effective move that I can do against you, but yeah, 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 sure, sure, I'll, 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 I'll do that. Watch it has a berry juice. Oh my god, it doesn't. It doesn't have a berry juice. Goodbye, Shuckle. All right, Shima. Is that a girl. All right. So, we've made it. New silk scope make the invisible plane to see. Oh, this creepy mute. There's, why is there grass in this town? So, we can catch a Pokemon? Uh, we'll leave that for the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. I don't know why we're in Lavender Town and not Vermilion City. I thought you go to Vermilion and then Lavender. And then to sell it on, I'm kind of confused, but I'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. Next time we will explore Lavender Town and maybe a little bit of the uh, ghost e area and try to make our way to Vermilion. I, we've got to get to Vermilion City because we've got to face Lieutenant Surge. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you get down there and Sith Lightning that like button. And if you're new, use the Force to subscribe. Don't forget to morph that little bell on so you always can catch some Pokemon uh, My Ass version here on Mock Creations YouTube and Cosplay. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!